In the past year, more than a million and a half Virginians filed unemployment claims. Even now, in an overwhelmed system, many people report waiting months for benefits or a case review. Investigative reporter Evan Watson talked to two women who took a drastic step for help, and it worked. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. My nephew. But when there's no money coming in. They can like right here, maybe right there. Is it worth it? So I'm just pit printing out family pictures, something I couldn't even do before. Lakeisha Madlock's unemployment benefits stopped and she didn't know why. She waited two months. Welcome to the Virginia Employment Commission. Calling for help every day, nothing. Push came to shove and I had to. Madlock filed a lawsuit, a civil complaint in Norfolk Federal Court, requesting damages from the Virginia Employment Commission for a lack of response or resolution, nor due process of claim for benefits. VEC reps called her back the next week and then every day until she received thousands of dollars in payments and back pay. Why did I even have to go that route? Madlock runs a Virginia unemployment related Facebook page, one of many groups where struggling unemployed workers vent their frustrations and ask for help. It's where she got the idea to file in court because it had worked before. December 22nd, I protested and filed my complaint and December 23rd, my claim was approved. Deidre Bird doesn't mince words. Speaking to the Virginia Unemployment Commission was like going to the dentist, getting several teeth pulled with no Novocaine. And that's putting it mildly. After losing her job at a law firm, she waited four months before suing for benefits. Only then did she receive an $8,538 lump sum payment. I knew. I said if I had not filed that complaint in federal court, I would still be sitting here crying and waiting for some type of relief. We asked the Virginia Employment Commission, why did these women get benefits so quickly after filing lawsuits when they couldn't get help through regular VEC channels? A spokesperson said VEC has increased customer service staff from 52 people to 677 people over the last year and deferred questions about lawsuits to the Attorney General's office. Now, Madlock recommends other people in desperate need sue for benefits. It feels like um, it's my responsibility in a sense, you know, because they, they, they aren't, they don't have theirs. So it's, I still feel like this huge weight. To get back to what matters most. <laughs> How fast he grew up. <laughs> in Virginia Beach, Evan Watson reporting for 13 News Now. Evan has been following issues with the VEC for months now. If you are having problems getting your benefits, send him an email or reach out on social media.